Hey, it's Natalie. So today I'm just going to go over like a quick little how to dye your hair. Um, I know some people like my mother uh, gets a little nervous on the process. Um, it is depending what you're doing, um, but usually what I do, it's very easy. Um, today, however, I am not going to bleach my hair. Um, the way you apply the dye is almost how you would bleach your hair anyway. Um, starting with the root and then leaving your lightest pieces to the end. So right now I have periwinkle in here with a little bit of uh, virgin pink, about a loony size. And this is the color I have so far. It's kind of a metallic uh, purple. Um, if you want more of a certain color to come out, just add, keep adding a little bit in and uh, just keep mixing it. Uh, remember that if you want that pastel shade, uh, to add some conditioner in and uh, depending on the, how light the color is is going to depend on how much conditioner you're going to mix in with your creation. For the type of conditioner you're going to use, you're going to want to make sure that it's white. It doesn't matter the brand, it, it might, but I don't really find it does. Um, just make sure it's white. Now, where these are already very light colors, I'm not going to add in a lot of hair conditioner today. Uh, usually I go through basically half a bottle um, when I'm doing my hair. So my next color I'm going to use is going to be virgin pink with a little bit of wrath mixed in with it. So there's my mixture there, there's my virgin pink and just a little bit of wrath. That one's more potent. So that's the virgin wrath mixed. And this is how much conditioner I put into my base mixture. Not a lot. So now we have this purple, blue, I don't really know what you want to call it, but we'll keep it. I like to start off at my roots because this is going to take the longest to sink process, do its thing. Um, my hands aren't going to need very much time. Pick what color you would like to start with. And just apply. A good thing to try to think about too when you're doing sections is remember that um, the width you grab. If say I'm doing a section right here and I do another section just up here. I got to remember the width um, because I might end up making just straight one color once the hair falls down and lays naturally. You might just end up with a block, and you don't you don't want that. I don't I don't want that. Um, so just make sure that your sections are almost like a triangle, so you don't end up with a whole side panel. And you can go as small as you want with your sections, big as you want. Just remember how it's going to lay naturally. Okay, so um, if you're happy with everything, then what I would do is put your hair up get it into a cap or a plastic bag works too. Clip it on and wait. I usually wait for about an hour, two hours. It's excessive. Um, you only really need to wait about half an hour, but I really like to have everything saturate and set in. That way my fading process isn't so fast. So that's what I'm gonna do and I will meet back with you guys once I rinse all this out. Hey guys, just washed out all the color in my hair. So this is the end result. There's lots of different shades going on here, which is what I was looking for. Um, I used Arctic Fox, Periwinkle, Virgin Pink, and Wrath to achieve these colors. Um, I did not bleach my hair. I had rainbow colors underneath, so that did help with contributing to I mean, new shades all throughout. Um, I really hope that this helped you guys and inspired you all to try something a little different outside your comfort zone. Um, just have fun with it. It's just hair. Thanks for watching, guys.